everyone this is Kiri with another layout for Bramble Fox and for this layout I have a very autumn theme layout using a couple of the new sets in the shop the autumn word fetti and the skeleton leaves so I have my picture here of me and some of my scrappy friends from um, last year when we went to visit a pumpkin patch purely for the reason to get a load of photos obviously as we scrap scrapbookers do okay so I have pulled out um, it's a simple story Stories collection. It's actually from last year, but I love it. It's called Harvest Market and it's a favourite of mine. So I've sort of clung on to it and um, I'm still using it. So I have a wood grain frame and then I've just got my white cardstock that I've distressed the edges and I'm just sticking to the top. And then I pulled out a selection of the pattern papers here and I'm just going to cut them into different width strips and um, I'm going to create a background using them. Um, I Obviously I've got smaller bits of paper now left so this is actually quite a good way, I've, I've used this before, um, it's quite a good way of using up small pieces of paper that you haven't got lots left of because um, I really love the effect that it gives. So just lots of different lengths and widths and then I'm going to add some dimension to them so because I couldn't possibly leave them all completely flat um, so yeah I'm going to add some dimension to them in just a moment I have a little play here of where they're going to fit um, I have those two sort of teal um, gingham check ones there but I do actually take those out in the end I they just were too much I felt that I didn't need that real pop of the teal um, so I stick to the um, other colours the um, pumpkins, the pinky check, that sort of ochery mustard one, um, and then the leaves. So what I'm doing here is I am just scoring the along the centre of each strip. Now, I'm away when I'm doing this, hence, actually, sorry about the lighting. There's a little bit of shadow occasionally, and um, I am a bit wonky looking. I think I was, yeah. And so, um, yes, so I'm just, and I don't have my scoring board hence using my um, trimmer. So I've just um, scored them all down the centre and I'm now distressing the edges, of course, and then um, I will get them all. I'm going to stitch them down onto the background, as you can see here. There we go. It's all done. And I've left the threads loose at each end. Just, just again, I don't always do that, but again, it just adds a little bit of different um, texture to the layer. I've backed my photo with a little bit of just um, light tissue, um, just so to create a difference between that and the background. I decided I not to use a pattern paper because I had so many in the background anyway. So this just gives a bit of definition between the photo and the background. So bringing in my trusty T-square to make sure it's absolutely straight. And then I'm just playing with the ephemera elements that I've got here um, and um, building up a cluster that will come out to the right of the photo here and across and below. And then there'll be a little one to the top left. So I've um, pulled out it's like a journaling um, card little card there so that I can add my journaling to because I felt like I need to add the journaling over the top rather than adding it onto the white card below because I felt like that would take away from um, the patterned sort of background and now I can bring in my fabulous perspectives so I've got that cute pumpkin there that says pumpkin season etched into it and um, I've also got pumpkin patch and then two of the word fetti bars that say pumpkins and crunchy leaves. And they all come from the autumn word fetti set in that sort of um, mustardy ochre and the orange. So your pumpkin's going to stick down. The pumpkin season's going to pop stick down there. And I was just tucking in some of the ephemera just behind it. You'll have seen I trimmed around that mug. Um, I tend to not like those wide white borders, so I do often trim them down. Some of these were already done because I was potentially using them previously. Okay, so I've got my bottom um, cluster here getting stuck down. Uh, here we go again, just trimming down this other little hot chocolate mug um, down, just taking away some of the excess um, white border. And um, I know some of you don't like a lot of fussy cutting. I actually love it. I find it quite therapeutic, so I'm quite happy to do it. So it is purely personal personal choice. Um, okay, to so the top cluster here with pumpkin patch, um, and then I can get um, get the get them stuck down. I've just got the floral elements, and I've added a little bit of floral element to each of the clusters, so you've got that continuity across um, the layer. Now, apologies here because the next bit I thought had filmed and it didn't. So the next element is where I add in the skeleton leaves, which are the other lovely perspectives. 
there we go. Um, okay, so I've brought that, just sort of brought it in some close ups. Um, I tucked in the skeleton leaves around the clusters, along with there's a pumpkin and the little acorn that you can just see there on the right. They all come in the, um, in the skeleton leaf set. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed um, watching the process video. I enjoyed making this. It's probably one of my quickest layouts I've ever made. Um, nice and easy um, and perfect for autumn. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.